Hello, everybody. I hope this message finds you well. I'm back to do a reading for you. This is a freestyle reading. Uh, this is for the collective. It's timeless. Take what you need, leave the rest. And watch to the beat of your own drum. Just listen to the beat of mine. I still have some same day readings available until 9 o'clock p.m. After I'm done with this reading, I pretty much have a full slate, a clean slate. I don't have any more readings to do. So if you want to purchase a reading, go ahead and do so now. Okay, you'll get that reading today if you purchase before 9 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time tonight. Okay, this is going to be what is the next chapter in my life? What is the next chapter in my life? Spirit guys and angels, give me a message for the collective. What is the next chapter in my life? Okay. All right, we're going to get started with what you need to release. What do you need to let go of right now in order to pursue the next chapter in your life? What do you need to surrender to? You need to surrender to prayer, okay? Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Start with prayer, okay? All right. What do you need to surrender to in order to receive the next chapter in your life? Surrender your desire to control, people. Surrender your desire to control, okay? Being overly controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off. Regroup and give the situation some breathing room. Back off, okay? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to surrender before you can read that next chapter of your life, okay? Surrender unhealthy relationships. I don't care if it's somebody you laying down with. I don't care if it's a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or whatever. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic-ass people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Let them go, okay? Give me one more card, spirit. What else does this person or the collective need to surrender in order to receive that next chapter? Okay. What do you need to surrender to, please? Surrender to creativity. Surrender to creativity. Making something pretty. Okay. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or to solve a problem. Okay. The next chapter of your life. Timeless Collective Read. Whenever you see it, I hope it resonates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please remember to check your subscription subscription status. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. And go ahead while you're at it to unsubscribe and subscribe again. But make sure that that uh, bell button is highlighted. Something's going on with the algorithms with YouTube because I'm losing, losing a whole bunch of people. And I know a lot of subscribers are. Something with the subscription status. So check it, okay? All right. Next chapter of your life. What's going on? Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows because you prayed for it. Okay? Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. You can't control people. You can't control situations. Everything is going to be just fine. So don't worry. Okay? You've prayed about it. You've thought about it. Surrender it. You're no longer having to worry about it. Stop controlling people. Stop trying to control the situation. Stop trying trying to control the outcome. Let it go. All right? The next chapter of your life. The next chapter of your life. Okay? Past life. This situation involves your past life memories here. You're dealing with somebody with an unhealthy connection that you've dealt with in an un, in a, a past life. That's why the the... the, the Relationship with this person seems to be so toxic, and, and it's like you never resolve problems when you were in a relationship the past, the past, in a past life, and you can't do it now. Okay, so unless you heal this this situation with this person and the energy around them and you, you're going to keep on repeating the same life cycle, life cycles again and again and again. Let it go. Stop trying to control the situation and walk away. All right, and heal. Okay, surrender to creativity. Okay. The next chapter of your life. <clears throat> the next chapter of your life. We have leap of faith, creativity. Take a risk and put your heart's desire into action. This is time for you to take a leap of faith. Surrender to your creativity. What is it that you've always wanted to do? It's time for you to take that leap of faith and just do it. Go for it. 
Stop trying to control everything else around you and live your dream and leave everything else by the wayside. Just let it go. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next chapter in your life, what's happening for the next chapter for you? You have an infinite supply. You prayed about it, and now you're about to be blessed because you're supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a song for it. Positivity. Luck. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking because you are going to be a thriving success. You are going to inspire so many people with whatever it is that you're trying to do. So get ready for your blessings. You pray for it. This is an infinite supply of the universe. God is saying, I got you. I got your back. What are you going to do? You're going to surrender the BS and do what you're supposed to do to thrive, to make your life better for you. Screw what anybody else says. This is your life. Okay? You have a bright, fruit, a bright future. Surrender your desires to control situations and just relax and be you. Let, let the universe come to you. Stop rushing after something or somebody who is unattainable. Okay? Let them know that you are unattainable. It's the light at the end of a tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans because you're relocating or traveling to your new destination. Stop trying to control it and go with the flow. Okay? Surrender unhealthy relationships. What's the next chapter in your life if you leave those past relationships alone? Surrendering unhealthy relationships for your next chapter. We got two. Committed re romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations are topics that make your heart that make your heart flutter. Why? Because you're surrendering unhealthy relationships. That's going to, to allow the universe to bless you with somebody who's going to respect you. Who's going to treat you like they got some damn sense. Okay. And then we have the 10 of area. Okay. There's so much, there's so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Why is universe, why is spirit, the universe, God blessing you with a healthy relationship? Because you've let go of an unhealthy relationship that you didn't seem to want to let go in the past. Now that you're finally doing so, God is going to give you the best because you are the best. Remember that, okay? You're taking this leap of faith. You're surrendering to your creativity. So what's the next chapter in your life? The Empress. The Empress, okay? Shine, baby, shine. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. Creativity. Surrender to creativity, okay? Surrender to creativity here. Creativity is rewarded. Creativity. What are you going to do? You're going to take that leap of faith here. You see that? Wait a minute. <laughs> take this leap of faith, okay? And go for what you know. It's time for you to act upon your plans. Everything you've always wanted to be, because whatever is creatively inside of you is going to be rewarded tenfold to you, because that's what you were promised. That's what you were promised, okay? Gotta, you got to get out your head. Stop trying to control life and allow life to just lay by the wayside and bless you. Let it go. What's, what's, what's the problem? Okay. The next chapter in your life. For the collective, please. This timeless message. Timeless message. The next chapter in your life. The next chapter in your life. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change because you're surrendering to prayer. You're surrendering the need to control people. You're accepting the fact that you need to move on with your life. You need to open a new chapter of your book, of your life story, of the Lamb Book of Life, of the Akashic Records, or whatever you want to call it. It's time to flip that page, okay? Happiness. Surrender your new, your need to control people, and, bring, and this is going to bring you happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, whether it's by myself or with somebody special. Accept the path that you're on. Accept the path that you're headed to, okay? Surrendering unhealthy relationships. Finding peace, love, and happiness in, in, with an emotional connection inside an emotional connection. And we have indecision. I use my intuition in all the aspects of my life. 
That's because you're not really standing in your true emperor or empress power. But that's going to change or that needs to change in order for you to find this new path, in order for you to open up the book to a new, a new page, a new chapter. If you keep on being indecisive, you're still going to be stuck in the same old stupid ass rut. Okay? The next chapter in your life, we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness by moving on with my life. Stop trying to control. Stop trying to check up on people who don't want to have anything to do with me and live my life to its fullest potential that I can. Okay? Surrender. I can release my need to control and live my life the way I need to live my life so I can have a beautiful growth pattern, a growth spurt in my life so I can turn the page of my next chapter. Okay? Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Happy, being happy, being grateful for what you have. This is a time in your life of growth for things to change and get better. You're going to have a lot of stuff to, to shout out about, a lot of stuff to, to, to be thankful to God about, a lot of things, a lot of reasons to celebrate at home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. This is something that you've been waiting for, a new home. It could be a new job, anything new coming your way. You did this because you opened the book. To, you open your chapter. You open the chapter of a new book, a new story for you to start. Your new story starts at home, okay? Give me one more card for the collective, please. You finally turn to a new chapter in your life, okay? And we have Guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Safe and spiritually protected, okay? And one more. Two, okay? This is receptivity. Allow yourself to receive, okay? Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and the ability to give to others. Be bold. Be daring, okay? Be bold and be daring. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So whatever it is that you're being called to do or guided to do, do it. Open up that new chapter in your life and see what's in what's written in the beautiful pages. What words are coming out for you or what words you can add to the story. All right. Talk to you later.